What is going on guys, it is your man with the plan, it is official Balkan. Welcome back to episode number 17 of Rude Hoyt's Burnley Journey. Uh, as you can see on the screen right now when it pops up any second, we are now on 55 goals in 36 games. 14 uh, games left to, to break the record, it's going to be a hard one. But also I want to quickly address the uh, microphone issues. Um, I will be purchasing a new headset, it's because uh, for some reason when I've been recording these videos I can hear like a small like echoing noise or a little small background noise which the headset's picking up. And I will be addressing that in the future episode, like future episodes when I pick up a brand new headset. But nevertheless, we've jumped into our first game. And our opponent has a hybrid squad with Farmin, Hummels, Dark, Meyer, uh, Inf uh, Timothy and Sarney, uh, International Man of the Match Jones, uh, Quint Dempsey, Giovanni De Santos and a few other players. But the first highlight comes a Rude Hoyt fan in grey to great for votes. Quick one two. Andre Gray with a quick nass footwork and belts it straight past Farman, who makes it 1-0. In the 36 minute, Andre Gray goes off and celebrates. Nice little quick one-two between the two Burnley front men, and that's what will finish there. Foreman had zero chance of uh, saving that. And then the next highlight, Andre Gray after a little, nice little bit of skill there, keeps all the hook of his footwork. He's beautiful. Ronaldo will be, will be pleased with that. Messi will be pleased with it. And it finds Rude Hullet after a nice little skill dribbling, pulls it back and makes it 2-0. And he's pretty much game over right there. Rude Hullet with a nice little goal. All the work from uh, the man Andre Gray. Skill dribble there by Rude Hullet. And Hullet bangs it past Farman who makes it 2-0. And that is how actually the game finished. 2-0. Uh, My opponent really didn't do anything. I think his team was a weakness. Uh, especially with the left-hand side of his plays. He had a, three, a few, three or four silvers in there. He probably let him down. But our next opponent is MLG Mystery. He uh, was one of these guys who was stubborn. He didn't want to change his kit. Uh, and I matched up with him a few times. Coming to the point this red and white. By music kit, but his team was this. It was a hybrid of some sorts. It was Joe Hart, Otamendi, Kashelna, Bellerin, and Alexander as his back line. Mascarado and Pastor as his two CDMs. Pierre and Di Maria as two cams. And up front was Carlos Tevez and Sergio Aguero. So a lot of pace in that team lineup. Um, not too sure on Pastor being a CDM. But the first sell that Joey Barton with a nice through ball to find Rudel, who makes it 1 0 within two minutes, really. Rudel it does a nice little cartwheel celebration. But look at that pass. Nice little through ball. No player had no chance. Otamendi couldn't see where that ball was going from. And Joe Hart had zero chance of saving that. But then the next highlight, Sam Volks intercepts the ball what's going across the box and makes it 2-0 and wheels off and celebrates and muscle flex right there as players go to celebrate. Nice, the real, pretty much little pressure there by Rude Hulk, but a terrible pass by um, his defender. And then Volks shows his strength, goes 1-1. One one. Joe Hart comes out and he gets chipped. Gets the dirty little chip by Sam Volks who makes it 3-0. In the first half, and we all roll, and it's nice easy there. But my opponent has the ball with Aguero. Poor defending by me. I thought he was going to pass it here, and then he all swapped me, as you can see right there, and he made it free. One, well, a nice little strike by Aguero. Can't take away the finish, but I should have like, really flicked on what he was going to do. But I thought he was going to pass, and then he makes it. Goes on the line a little bit. Finds Tevez a weird kind of shot to take. I didn't expect that to go front for us. Tommy should have really done it better, um, and he does make it two 0 But this is what Rudo it does. Straight at Joe Hart, and that's a terrible piece of goalkeeping. He should have done better in like the, the first shot by um, Vox, and then he should have definitely done a lot, lot better with a free kick by Rudo. You can see it on the better angle from here. Straight at the keeper, he pushes it onto the post, then it bounces back off him and then goes in. But my opponent had the ball with Mascarano, and then Mascarano did a finish like that. I've never seen Mascarano score a nice goal like that ever in my life of watching him uh, play, but for some reason he can do it on FIFA. And now he's had the game finished 4 3. Rude Hoyts, what a free kick there, guaranteed us the win, and we actually are 5 0 and 5 0 and 1 in this division. But after those two games, Rude Hoyt now uh, is on, if I'm not mistaken, 57 goals or 58, 58 goals in 38 games. Like I said, we need to start getting two to three goals per game, otherwise, we are not going to do this. It's going to be a little tr struggle, really, but we know, who knows, we may be able to do it. Anyway, it's been your man with the pan official, but leave a like, leave a comment, and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!